All of you have heard about 3D printing. You may have heard too much about 3D printing. But think about it. It's about getting the idea, translating that quickly into the ability to understand how do we build, what features can we have, layer by layer by layer. For us, it's taking time, it's getting prototypes into our hands, it's being able to put new features into our products that can increase the performance by up to 80%. But it starts with the fact that we're combining digital plus physical. If we didn't understand the properties of materials and how they will build up stresses, how they will be able to be micro-welded, which is what additive is when you get into metals, what that means to the final performance, we could not have started to design. And while we're building, we're putting more optics and more inline inspection to understand, to get more knowledge, to build even better designs. Hole drilling, something that all manufacturers do, may not sound very exciting, but what can you do when you now combine physical and digital? Well, in our world, we use a lot of electro discharge machining, a lot of electrochemical machining. And what we're doing is we're turning the electrodes that are drilling the holes into sensors. Because of the advancements in controls, technology, and feedback loops, the types of holes we make, and we make over 50 million holes in our products for bolt holes, cooling holes, directing holes. These holes range in size from just a few diameters of a hair up to a foot in diameter. And they're shaped. They're not all round. They're very specific to give us the type of performance we need. So what happened when we were drilling? Well, these materials are very expensive. They can be very delicate. There can be structures that occur behind the holes. So we were very, very careful. That made us be slow, but it also made us do a lot of rework. Because we had to go back, we would check things. What is the shape? What is the diameter? Now, as we're drilling, we understand where we are, where we've been, what the shape is, where the other side of the wall is, and it helps us get better. It helps us get better first time yield. It helps us reduce cycle time. And now this idea of using our tool as a sensor is becoming a platform for multiple types of operations. When our products are out in the field, they're in pretty harsh environments. When they come back, they don't look like the original design. In fact, when we compare it to the original digital definition, sometimes they can be off by many, many percentages. How do you repair them? How do you get them back to their original state? Well, today, me many measurements are taken, many calculations are done, the engineering teams are brought in. Digital plus physical lets us be better than that. Digital plus physical lets us do things like adaptive welding, where what we're doing is we're taking scanners, and these aren't intricate CT scanners. These are scanners like used in the video game industry. And we attach them, we scan the part, we quickly compare it to the design intent in the digital definition, and then we go and we go to the controls in our welder, we go to the robotic arm, we go to the welding electrode, and we tell it what to do. We tell it how to bring the part back to what it needs to be to go back in service. That's exponential disruption. That is changing the way we work because of technology. It may not be the kind of technology you'll see on the front cover, but it is just as important. It's just as disruptive. And it takes material scientists and design engineers and robotic engineers, industrial planners, to be able to do this. Digital plus physical exponential manufacturing is about building ecosystems. No one company is going to do it. No one technology is going to do it. It's all about bringing together the fact that we have more ability to get that data through sensors, through analytics, and be able to use that data to do what we do best, which is make stuff. And it will drive us to new places. It'll drive us to be thinking about what is the next manufacturing technology we need. How do we take a manufacturing technology that's been around for 20 years and refresh it, make it look different? Because now we can do things like scan. Now we can put a new sensor. Now we can get more data. 
This is the future of manufacturing. 